it defaults with probabilistic rhythm. So here is the melody generator over whole note chords. Okay, now, um, actually, I'm going to kill that because I'm going to put a melody generator in there, two different ones, because those are both ghosts. So I'd like to have two different melody generators to tweak instead of the same one. Okay, so we'll tweak this, playing around. We'll apply to selection. Okay. You know, it may not be the most useful melody, but you got to tweak stuff. You got to mess around with all these. Look at these parameters, man. Mode, scale notes only, downbeats, chord note, downbeat, and the third beat, always a chord note. Options, allowed up motions, allowed down motions. Uh, in the newest version, I think we added a major sixth up, I think. But this is uh, build 21. So, I mean, yeah, it's crazy. Penultimate note is step above the tonic. Allow the seventh to be a melody note for major and minor chords. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? First note, random chord note, random scale notes, chord bass note. Jeez, you know, I mean, pick something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. And you can change this to quarter beats to get more busy. You know, make it more dense. Get your Tangerine Dream fix if you want. I was just watching Risky Business not too long ago, and that ending track that plays through the credits is pretty dope. May not be exactly what you're looking for instrument-wise, but things like that can be made with this. So it's pretty neat. Um, yeah, it's just crazy. Look at all this. You know, you just play with this. Increase the note range if you want. Decrease the density. Okay, you get the idea? It's like, whoa. Okay, that's just probabilistic rhythm. I didn't even check the other ones yet. Schillinger's Interference. We're going to increase this to faster notes, playing around. It's just, I love it. I love it so much. So again, notice with Schillinger's, you could uh, change the accent types. So we'll keep it all even. So we'll apply and hear how this sounds over our chords. Okay, now that second melody generator is still on probabilistic, so we'll make these both Schillingers, and we will mess with those and see what we can get. Let's see, quarter beat. All right, apply, and we'll... I, I actually like that melody before. I like how at the end it was like... Dun, dun, dun. Kind of had a little, little triplet kind of syncopation kicking on. Very cool. All right, and let's see. We're just messing around, messing around. Now I gotta, I gotta make note of these settings. I, I like that rhythm, but um, yeah. I mean, Schillinger's interference is cool because when you set the durations, it keeps the same rhythm but changes the notes. So. Very cool. You know what I mean? So. Again, we're tweaking generators, and man, can they be tweaked. Subdivision. Let's check this out. So we're going to do it on both melody generators. Increasing the number of subdivisions. Applying. Taking a listen. <laughs> Very cool. So obviously this first one was uh, tweaked much greater, you know, with a greater number of subdivisions than this one. Whoops, clicked the wrong thing. Oh, actually they have the same number of subdivisions, but 
This one, what did I do differently? I don't know. Yeah, whatever. That's kind of what it made. So we'll try this. I don't know. It's just awesome. Okay. So that's subdivision with the melody generator. Here's polyrhythm. And as you remember before, when we tweaked polyrhythms on the generic one, some of the stuff sounded off time. Just really depends on how you set it, what you're doing, you know. Um, so I don't know. We'll try this. And we'll set this one to polyrhythm as well. Increase the number of beats to make it a little bit longer notes. And so very, very much sloppy, you know, but you just got to tweak the polyrhythms and you got to kind of know how the ratios work. I'm not totally familiar with that yet, but you know, it's cool. It's fun. That's what music is all about. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'll come back to that. And you got your trebled rhythm, of course. And, you know, here it is. All right. You could change all these. You could have more leaps. You could do less note repetition. Okay. And just flying through. Generic rhythm. Apply. Yeah, sometimes it, um, when you uh, enlarge the track, uh, sometimes you'll get like some stuck MIDI notes, but you know that's something that will be worked out in the very near future. So, so that's generic rhythm with the melody generator, and you know we're just playing around. So you you guys get the idea. You can tweak the fuck out of the melody generator and. You can tweak the fuck out of anything in Rapid Composer, and that's the facts, and I love it, and it's awesome. So that's that, and the third's run. I'll just show you how to tweak these a little bit. Anyone familiar with the Beatles, let it be. Bridge, right before the guitar solo, is pretty much what this is all about. So we're going to mute that stuff. We're going to mute this. Actually, we're going to play these chords, but we're going to do a third, third run over the underlying chords. See what I mean? Very cool stuff. So you could tweak these any way you want. You can make them shorter, faster. All right. You can make them less dense. You could uh, increase their their octave, or you know their. Um, you could transpose the thirds, so you can make them higher if you want. Get the idea? Very cool. So that's a new thing. And to make this less dense, make it a little more realistic. Let's see. Here we go. You know? A little too high there, but you get the idea. Very cool stuff. You can also go upwards. All right, so you get the idea? So this video covers the basics of tweaking generators, which is so much fun. You could waste a lot of time doing it, or, you know, in like 10 seconds, you could find the perfect phrase, you know, the perfect rhythm that you're looking for. Tweak away. That's what music and composition is about, is tweaking things uh, so it sounds good and has good rhythms. And you could do all this stuff and more with Rapid Composer. So, hope this helps.